Holy crap. Whew. I don't know, my heart just got tripping. Sarah Dietschy and I have been together for three wonderful years and I want to marry her. I want her to be shocked, I want her to be happy. If you were to propose, how would you do it? I would jump out of the spaceship first, right? And as I'm going down, looking for my Sarah, I would land in a helicopter. I don't want to do that, but I would have proposed sooner. I just, I felt the pressure. You're looking at two individuals who never thought of themselves as the dating type, awkwardly falling in love. I'm not really a dater, but if that ever becomes part of my life, it probably won't even be a big part of these vlogs. It's a waste of my time. I don't believe that my eternal, like, life happiness comes from that. Guys, it's a beautiful day. Venice. Look at who I'm hey. Oh my gosh, introduce yourself. My name is John Hill. I'm a skateboarder human and yes. a YouTuber human. I've just been kicking it with my new homegirl, best friend in the entire world. Woo. What's up, Maybe John you should Hill? introduce yourself. Okay. Yeah, my name's Sarah Dietschy. Okay. Nice I did that because I didn't know how to say your last name, so I was like, thank you. Yeah. What do you admire most about each other? Okay. Your glasses. <gasps> There is one human that Sarah actually loves more than me, or at least as much. Well, it was really exciting that you called me and asked me to help pick up the ring for Sarah. That's true. I know you don't like to ask people for help, but I was so thankful that you did because that was fun for me. Remember the whole thing was the size. We didn't know what size she was. Right. So it turns out that first ring that you and I liked would have been too small. You know, mm. went to Dallas to do a little bit more ring shopping. Mm -hmm. Three different places. And of course, that's when I got confused because I found that really expensive ring that I just loved. Right. <laughs> it really was more for me than for Sarah. Gotcha. Are you so angry that I, I didn't ask anyone uh, for permission? <laughs> I no. just got the ring. <laughs> no, actually, and Dan wasn't upset either. I mean, really, you couldn't have told Dan beforehand because he would have told her. He right. would have really been surprised. Yeah, I think he totally would have. All I knew is that I've heard her say before that she didn't want one big piece in the middle, but I didn't know if she would like diamonds across the top or just a band. So it's kind of just a, we just have to cross our fingers and hope for the best. Now we have the ring from her hometown chosen by the woman who has helped craft her existence and we're in California. So the rest is just up to me. All right, this is me meeting Sarah for the first time. Oh, nice to meet you. And my laptop And I just sat here. Uploading a video. Yeah. Made it, babe. Made it. We're here. So three years ago, babe, did you think we'd end up here? No. Did you think this collab would turn into what this is? After the first day, yeah. Well, not. Really? After the first day, I knew you were more than just a friend, but. When I met you, it's funny because all these cute things happen, like you being outside the restaurant, the yeah. one we actually just went to, you were outside there just like uploading a video. <laughs> I and was I literally like, oh, hey, John, hold on. <laughs> yeah, but which is funny because I was like even more somehow that should have made me like feel better. Yeah, but I was even more intimidated. I was really? like, really? Yeah, because I was just like, dude, but wasn't I personable? And I was like, no, hey, ex John. see, extremely. But that's the thing, you were personable, you were good online, you were hardworking, and I was like, dude. <laughs> so you wanted to meet me and me be like an asshole. <laughs> I was hoping that there was something wrong with you, and I was like, dude, she's literally, <laughs> well, I mean, now, literally perfect. And aw, stop it. <laughs> well, now that you lived with me for so long you know that I don't put up my clothes so that is probably one of my biggest imperfections. I think the thing that I've learned the most living with you for three years is that it's all like true like I feel like oh. everything that I thought that day but then even after that like the way you were filming like let's do this thing we're practical blah 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 right. all of that to me was like how is she like I don't get this but that was kind of the point where I was like oh yeah like I feel like I don't know, like, you're perfect in oh, every way. Like, I literally was baby. like, I was like, this human is untouchable. So, you're amazing. Oh, okay. Even Sarah, when she's in those moments, she's like, lets her guard down, she turns into a completely normal person, but when she needs to get work done, and when you want to do things, you do it. Yeah. yeah. And that was like, something I took away that night where I was like, I don't need to be super insecure all the time. Like, because yeah. I saw her as this, like, heavenly being, <laughs> but I think she saw me as an equal. And I was yeah. like, oh, I got to be kind of special. If, yeah. She thinks I'm cool. Yeah, and then basically too, like, I just, I don't know, want to spend as much time with you as humanly possible oh, always, so. I love you. I feel so myself sweet. getting emotional. Oh, baby. Three years, just the beginning, babe. There you go. Oh my How God. How do you do this? Is this normal? I literally. Is this how you Oh do my God. 
guys, I had it. Cause you were nervous when I hugged I you. So His heart was. Babe, well, hey, I gotta do this. Sarah, do you think? Are you married? Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes, of course. What do I do? I don't know if it'll fit you, babe. I don't know your size. I just guessed. I literally just grabbed one. And if you slip and lose your way again, I'll know that you will be alright. You still gotta try. If you need company. I was baffling in a row. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty yeah. flashy. No, I mean, it's, but I love it. <laughs> Does it kind of fit? It fits perfect. That's Did she take the size from the she purity just, ring? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it's all very, I have so much stuff that I want to say that feels so hard for me to say. And I just felt like, well, if I'm going to marry you, then I say those things. <laughs> And all the anchors that they get inside your chest We will unravel all of the chains And toss the remnants all down the drain And all my hands are much too small to hold you up I will be there to pick up the pieces And keep your house while you obviously put in the clip where that random person on the first day of it hanging out with each other was like you guys love each other You're honestly awesome. yeah I <laughs> and literally the top comment in that video is like you have to invite find that person invite them oh, to your yeah. wedding <laughs> is it bad that I didn't cry I'm just so confident well, you have glasses on you can't even tell me yeah. I'm sorry I didn't cry so Sarah left her purse over there as soon as we were done that's my fiance. I don't know your size, I just guessed. I literally just grabbed it. I'm <laughs> like freaking <laughs> out, chill. <laughs> my guys. Look, I'm wearing my ring, guys. Can I wash it again? If you want. Do you want to? Holy crap. 